Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a SharePoint homepage makeover. We're going to turn this basic gray out of the box layout into this clean modern design that actually feels like someone put efforts into it. As with every makeover, we're going to use some tools to help us out. Let's get to it. So here's what we started with. At top of the page has this big static banner looking like a brick, taking almost half the page. Was this supposed to be a featured announcement? Why is it so generic and gray then? This will put anyone to sleep. And this text with the font that blends into the background is hard to read. Overall, it just feels unfinished. Now how about this redesigned top area? Out goes the brick and in comes this beautiful full-width news carousel from Origami. This carousel takes the entire width of the page, making it stand out. It also greets each user with their name and highlights the announcement with bold text, branded image, and clear call to action. Now this part feels more personal and it grabs attention with a purpose. Next, let's tackle this right-hand side section. The main section had lots of white space, but the right-hand side is crowded with widgets all crammed together into this narrow closet. And what's with this gray background? This section almost desperately tries to compete for attention. So let's clean up this narrow closet looking section by removing the old clutter and making space for the new things. The world clock? That had to go. It took up too much space. And besides, most people check time zones when they're scheduling a meeting, not from the internet homepage. Same with the countdown timer. Sure, it looks useful at first, but let's be honest, nobody's coming back to stare at the ticking numbers. We can easily use the events web part for this. So we kept the upcoming events and frequent sites web parts, but moved them to the side for now. We'll fine tune that part later. The good news is that the old closet section is gone. Now let's talk about the quick links. Quick links are one of the most used features on any intranet. Yet, here they are, buried below the news section. And to make things more confusing, there are actually two sets of quick links. A row of small icons for which I need reading glasses to see the small text, and these image tiles below that can also act like quick links but have this lofty style for no apparent reason. To fix this quick link split personality disorder, we gave them a consistent look. Clean, modern carts with icons, soft shadows, and clear labels. We used Origami Quick Links web part for that. We moved them up so they're easier to find. Now, this section is starting to feel more put together. And remember that frequent sites web part that used to sit in the closet section? It's good, but it shows sites that I have visited, not necessarily what matters to me at the moment. So we replaced the frequent sites with personalized bookmarks where users can add shortcuts to their own sites or links, making a page a lot more personal. Next, we tackle newsfeed. The original layout only had a room for a few posts. This isn't nearly enough for most companies where sometimes each department wants to post their own news. So we swapped out the default SharePoint News web part with Origami News Center web part. Now the homepage shows way more news posts and users can easily switch between news categories like announcements, leadership updates, and people news. Plus, now employees can like and comment on posts, making this section feel a lot more dynamic. Next, we must deal with this events web part. The issue here was that everything was lumped together like a giant snowball with no way to filter events by category. Social events could overcrowd time-sensitive trading, and that's no good. So we used Origami Calendar web part to not only let users filter by event category, but events can also be color-coded and users can easily RSVP for an event without leaving the page. Huge improvement for a web part that takes so little space. We're almost done, but wait, what's this? 
a social feed? Is this to share pictures of my weekend baking experiments? A place to rant about a new policy? Announce a volunteer event? Without any direction, people either don't post at all or share something initially and then feed dies off because it's off topic. So we gave the space a new purpose and replaced this random feed with Kudos web part. Unlike Viva Engage, which can feel vague without moderation or direction, the Kudos Corner has a specific goal, recognize and celebrate employee wins. Users instantly know what it's for and how to take part. And it has important goal of making employees feel appreciated. So here's the final comparison. We just went from a basic gray, hard to navigate layout to a vibrant, functional and personalized homepage that actually supports employees. This is still SharePoint, just done right. For custom tools, we used origami web parts, so you don't need custom code and design team to build something that looks and works great. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more SharePoint tips, and I'll see you in the next one.